Hey, hey, welcome back again. Uh, so the app we're going to make this time is called Image Uploads. It's actually a pretty short unit. Usually we show you like all kinds of extra features when we've got one core thing we're trying to show you, but this time we're just going to show you the one core thing. So it's going to make for a pretty short unit. Um, and here's an example. Uh, so this is uh, image uploads. You can also get here from the doc, right? Um, and what it does is it lets you upload a photo. So feel free to, to play with the, uh, the example here. Um, there are two kind of like featured photos. So I just clicked to upload a featured photo uh, and there you can see it showed up. Uh, also, if you were to see the console, you can actually get like a little feedback about what it's doing. So if I pick a new image to upload, um, so let's just pick like, I don't know, 002 here. And it says that it's uploading 002, and then it says upload is complete, uh, and then boom, it shows up. And you can see the time delay is proportional to how big the image is. Uh, so for example, if I grab a smaller image, uh, so here's just like a really small image of me, um, I'll say upload that, and you can see that that upload goes very quickly. So we're going to have this ability to upload like two featured photos. So it's kind of like your very favorite photo, your second favorite photo. Uh, and then there's also a photo list. So this photo list, uh, you can add things to this photo list. I'll just go and upload um, a picture of me. I think I've already got a picture of me at the bottom. Now there's two pictures of me at the bottom. Um, but you just uh, can upload things to a list here. And so we just wanted to show you how do I upload something to like to a single spot, like a favorite photos, uh, and then how do I upload something onto the end of a list. Uh, cool. And so I added that one slightly out of order, but I know why I did that. Uh, so this is the app we're going to make. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, so go ahead and make yourself a place to save your work, uh, either on Ada or GitHub. Um, I recommend you call it something like, you know, image uploads. Um, and in the description, if you want to put a description, it can be like, you know, learning to use Firebase storage for image uploads. Uh, great. So there I've got a project that I can make. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is um, before I say ng new, I like to usually update my version of the Angular CLI. Um, it looks like it is updated to, I don't know, 1.3 or something now. Uh, but if you want to go through, you can install the global package. I like to do it between apps because then I don't have to do the local package. Uh, but I've done that off camera. Uh, so now I've come over here. I pick a good place for my work. Um, and I say git clone. Uh, and then I open that uh, empty repository. So it says you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Yes, I did. That is correct. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've got image uploads now, which is empty. And I'm going to say ng new uh, image uploads. So I go ahead and run that. Notice that I didn't bother to put on the hyphen hyphen routing because this thing is so simple. Uh, there's just no need. Uh, so there, that's done. It was actually uh, rather instantaneous, uh, which means that it must not... Um, must not automatically do the npm install anymore, uh, which is kind of a pain. I liked it when it did the npm install automatically. So yeah, if I come in here and I do an ls, you can see that there's no node modules folder. Uh, so I'll do an npm install. Um, and of course, that's the slow step uh, is the npm install. And it used to do that automatically in older Angular CLIs, but I guess it stopped doing it, which is fine. It just means it messed up all my old videos. Um, so while it's doing its npm stall, I like to go over to the Angular console um, and I like to uh, make a new project. Uh, so you can go ahead and click on add new project. I've already got one here. It's called Fisher DS image uploads. I just kind of like to prepare a place for my work while it's doing the npm install. For this app, we're going to be using the database. We're going to be using storage, but we're not going to be using authentication. Um, since we're not going to be using authentication, uh, you'll have to go into the database and change some rules in here. So the database rules. You can see I've got a bunch of data already. I'm just going to delete all that data, just kind of get rid of it. Goodbye. By the way, that does completely mess up my uh, deployed version, which is fine. Uh, and then the rules for the database that you're going to need are true, true. Now, to be honest, this is a pretty simple app, so I should have said this a moment earlier. Uh, but if you want to use your default, um, like your your Firebase default for this, instead of making a new image uploads uh, app, I'm fine with that. But the rules do need to be true, true, because we're not doing authentication. We're also using storage this time, uh, and storage has its own rules. Um, and so you'll notice that for storage, uh, it probably says like, request.auth is, is not null or something like that. Um, but over here you want uh, if true as well. 
Notice that the syntax for the rules in storage is totally different. Um, it uses kind of like the new rules. Um, and so this is one of the reasons why I haven't taught you things because there's kind of like different rule systems. Uh, you'll also notice that I have things saved in my storage bucket uh, and I want to delete them uh, just so that I can kind of start fresh uh, where you started. Cool, there my files were deleted. All right, by now the NPM install should have finished. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's finished and then some. And so I'm going to need to open up in uh, Visual Code Studio, uh, making sure I select the uh, image uploads, uh, the Angular folder, not the Git folder. Um, and I should have um, a bunch of things to check in. Yeah, it looks like I've got about uh, 30 things to check in here. So this is my ng new image uploads, uh, just like that. It looks good. Notice that I didn't put on the hyphen hyphen routing because I didn't type the hyphen hyphen routing. Uh, and then I'll check it down and I'll put it in the origin branch. Uh, cool. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to ng serve this guy. Uh, just make sure everything is happy go lucky. So it started up there, and then I'm going to go open it up in Chrome. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to localhost 42, uh, and I get this crazy little uh, intro thing. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and delete the spec file. Uh, there's one spec file that I didn't really want, so I'll just go ahead and move that to trash. Didn't really need that guy. Um, and then I suppose I ought to say delete spec file. Uh, and then I could do some more things with the uh, the Angular CLI and, and setting my defaults like sassy CSS and things like that. And but this app is going to be so simple, I'm just not worried about those things. All right, so we've got uh, the basic setup done. Come back next time, and we'll start uh, doing some real things. <laughs> All right, we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>